Welcome to the Sports Scouting Report Podcast with Lee Brickeen. Hi, everyone. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report. I'm your host, Lee Brickeen. Jace Lejeune is joining us today as a co-host, and we've got a great show. I'll, I just, I've been in Shreveport, and it's always good to go to Shreveport and go to Natchitoches, Louisiana, and was able to interview some outstanding young men. Uh, our interview today is going to be one interview. We actually got several interviews that we're going to space out from the trip I had in Shreveport, but we interviewed Kendrick Law. I uh, was able to go to Captain Shreve High School. I think Kendrick's one of the top 20 players in the state. He's one of the best athletes in the country. Ran a 10.42 or 10.46 in 100 meters, was second in the state in 5A, by like a half a second, was second. 10.4 anything is fast in the 100 meters. Runs a legitimate 4.340. Uh, we also interviewed Braylon Kenny, a good-looking senior DB receiver, six foot two, about 180 pounds. And Coach Mitchell, I want to appreciate Coach Mitchell for setting us up. Um, Supported, uh, actually set it up, but uh, Coach Mitchell, uh, John Mitchell, who's the receivers coach, tight ends coach, H backs coach. Uh, was there in the meeting, and you'll love this interview with Kendrick Law, Braylon Finney, and Coach Mitchell. In the first segment today, though, we're going to talk to Jace Lejeune. Jace, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Lee. Pleasure to be on. We're working the midnight all right now. We're working on seven. We're working on this 2021 football preview magazine. This is my 25th year. Jace's fifth year. I uh, lost track. Pro- uh, let's see, f- fifth year. Fifth, fifth year. year. Yeah. Um, take pride in it. Uh, this is a year process. This is not something you just go write something for three days and you got a book. It's, it's way more involved than that. Um, we're almost done with the book, but it takes two and a half, three weeks after that because you got to go to the printer. Then the printer's going to have it a couple weeks. They got to look at it again. They look at it again. Yep. And then the printer takes about two weeks and then it takes three days to ship it here. It's coming from out of state, and then it takes a week or two to get them out. So it, it's another month and a half, but it's going to be in that middle August, late August. If everything goes great, if everything goes normal, right? Yep. And there's no shutdowns or anything like that. Pray to God none of that happens uh, where we can get everything on time. But if you're a parent listening today, we're going to have all 300-plus schools I've been saying on the show 300 schools, but we're talking close to 310, maybe even more than 310 high schools, counting MAIS, six-man, eight-man football, the LHSSA, I mean, 5A to 1A, all 12 colleges, recruiting, the All-Louisiana team. We're going to have the second team, third team on our website later on, LAFootballMagazine.com. You want to pre-order your north and south copies and also your digital copy. And before I get into an interview with Jace, we're just going to wing it and talk about a lot of stuff. Before we get to Kendrick Law, one of the top recruits, Braylon Finney, Coach Mitchell from Captain Shreve. My interview, when I went to St. – I went to Captain Shreve personally. Uh, but I want to thank some sponsors. I want to thank Treads and Care, Devin Holly. They've been in business since 1971. If you need tires, you need brakes, you need all changes, you need adjustment, air conditioning, repair work, you need any major brand of tires, pickup and delivery, you got to call Treads and Care. They're on the corner of Hooper Road and Park Place Drive. Be sure to give them a ring at uh, the area code. There's 225 in Baton Rouge, 331-8144. That's 331 Medine's Collision Center. If you need your car worked on and you need a paint job or anything, they're the Collision Center you got to call Medine's Collision Center. They're on Kincaid Avenue, 5275. The number is 357-7983 to call. That's 357-7983. They have been extremely busy with this rain that I'm tired of. I'm tired of this rain. Um, but Chris Medine, Dominica Medine, and also Jesse Medine, and also our first sponsor that believed in this show, believed in me, believed in what we're trying to do, is John Harvey Toyota out of Bossier City, Shreveport. Be sure to give them a call. Low prices, honest people. Tell them Lee sent you. If you need a new or used car, Harvey Autos, John Harvey Toyota, Harvey Subaru, and Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, 
Be sure to check them out, man. I just came back from Shreveport, Jace. And I'm glad I have energy. I'm glad I love what I do. But I'm going to tell you, if I didn't love what I do, I probably wouldn't have got up today. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a whole day's worth what you did the other day. I uh, left my house at 4 in the morning. I had a meeting at Captain Shreve to interview the kids at 10 in the morning. Um, had to go back to, at the end of the day, I had to go back to Natchitoches and do an interview, which I enjoyed with Coach Jess Curtis from Manny. And Tackett Curtis, one of the top DBs in the country for 223. Yeah, he's a stud. I, think, I believe everybody is uh, offered him at yeah, this point. Yeah, people are going to love that interview for next Wednesday. Yep, it will be on Wednesday. Oh, man, that's going to be a, a one-hour interview with Jess Curtis, Manny High School, Tackett. We talk about all the teams he visited. Man, he visited Michigan and Wisconsin. Um, he went all over. The, he went to USC. I know er everybody in the country wants Tackett. Uh, and I know he's going to be one of the top guys for next year's class to really watch out for. In today's show, Kendrick Law, one of the top recruits. I went to Captain Shreve. We talked to Braylon Kenny. He's a big-time sleeper DB, Jace. He's a good kid. He's going. He's one of them guys that can catch a lot of balls as junior because there were guys in front of him. Yeah, and especially since a lot of attention is going to be directed towards Kendrick and trying to slow him down, I'll leave him some opportunities this year to get have a big senior season. Man, Kendrick Law – is wants to major in engineering. You'll hear the interview today, but he's a super smart kid. I've watched him for four years. His dad used to be the head coach at Booker T. Washington. Right. Coach Law, who's a coach on the staff. Like your dad coaching high school football. Man, you can't lose a kid that runs a four three forty if you're LSU, who looks like Dante Jackson, but he's bigger. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. He Those looks speed. like Dante. Actually, he looks like Dante Jackson. Mm-hmm. Right. But he's a bigger version of Dante if you're a listener. He's not, you know, he's six foot instead of 5'11", Dante is. Okay. And you're, will he play, he's going to play receiver, receiver instead of corner. That'll be like another difference too because no, Dante played corner. But Kendrick can play corner. Yeah, okay. But we're talking 195 compared to 170 with Dante. And think of this. Dante Jackson ran with a 4'3". Yeah. <laughs> Kendrick Law runs a 4'3", and he's 195 pounds. Dante was 170, maybe. Yeah, there's not a lot of guys out there that's that 190 pounds plus that can run that fast. And plays at 200 pounds during football in track gets – he's about 190, 195. Yeah, we lean down a little bit, right? Which is a lot of weight, running a 10'4 and change on, in the 100 meters. You're so used to seeing the you know the 160, 170 pound guys run four threes, but when you got close to 200 running that, that's special. pretty impressive. And really he's a special. good student. He wants to be an engineer. Um, it's going to be a battle between Alabama, LSU, and others. Florida State's the other team that we talk about in the interview. And Jace, let's, anything else you want to talk about before we get to the Kendrick Law interview in the show? But I mean, we've got. We've got the NBA championship is knotted at two to two right now. Right. Phoenix Suns, Milwaukee Bucks. Suns and the Bucks. I want, want one of them's going to win, and they haven't won it in years. So it's refreshing to see some new teams and some new blood coming in there and competing for an NBA championship. I mean, we've seen the Warriors and LeBron, and over the last couple of years, it's refreshing to see somebody, a new team, uh, getting a chance to win another, win an NBA title first time in a long time. Uh, Chris Paul's 36, looks like he's 26. He's drinking the Fountain of Youth, all right. Him Book and Tom Brady are. Booker's incredible. Yeah, he's a special player, Devin uh, Booker. Anton is a great center, young, great center yeah, from DeAndre Arizona. Eaton, yep. God, he's good. Yeah, they've got a great shoot. When they're not shooting well, though, you, they get beat. They shoot well, and then it's like if they don't hit all those threes, they look like LSU this past year. Right. But, boy, when they hit those threes, you have no chance to beat them. Uh, they're pretty much unstoppable. When, they, when that offense is at all cylinders and when they're able to pass the ball because everybody can score, uh, when that offense is on cylinders, they're, they're pretty much unstoppable to beat. I'm calling the guy G, the Greek goddess. Giannis. Giannis. Antetokounmpo is what you He's say. scary. When he, when he goes in the lane, you're going to foul him or he's going to make it? One of the two. He's like trying to stop someone eight foot tall because he's so long. He has great ball handling skills for a guy that, that big. You don't. That's really rare. Have you ever seen a guy his arms are so long that he can actually dunk eight feet away? I mean, his arms are just freakishly freakishly long. long. 
That's why they call him the Greek freak. So you can't, you can't. <laughs> if you block his shot, then you're, you're definitely a, a freak too to be able to do that. Because his arm's going to be like nine foot in the air. It's going to be. I don't know if Shaq could even block his shots. Really. <laughs> That let's take, let's take a break. When we come back, me and Jason are going to talk a little bit more, maybe some LSU football. Yeah, I got some questions. I can some questions. And then we'll get into our interview with Kendrick Law from Captain Shreve and Braylon Finney and Coach Mitchell, who was nice enough to give us the boardroom at the high school when I went to Shreveport a couple of days ago. And then Wednesday, we're going to have an uh, interview with Jess Curtis and Tackett Curtis, one of the top juniors in the country at Manny High School. We'll be right back. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report. Later in the show, we're going to be talking to Kendrick Law, one of the top recruits from Captain Shreve, who's a senior for 222, who LSU's offered, Alabama's offered, Florida State loves him. It's kind of weird that Florida State's no longer the, the cool team that everybody wants to go to. They're kind of like the rebuilding program that's no longer the dominant. Yeah, I remember in the 90s, I mean, Florida pretty much overtook college football with Florida, Florida State, I mean, Miami, yeah. all of them, and they were all national championship contenders. Yeah. I got Miami beating Alabama. That People think I'm crazy, but I think it's finally going to happen. Saban's going to lose his first game for the first time ever at Alabama. He always wins the first game, but they don't play anybody. They play a bad Wisconsin. They played a bad TCU, a bad they USC. Louisville after Lamar Jackson yeah, left. A bad a years USC. Ago. Yep. But they don't – I think Miami's really good this year. I think De'Eric King, I think their defense – I watched their spring game. They were loaded on D-line, O-line. If you can play Alabama in the trenches, you got a chance, and they've got some super speed. I'm not saying Miami's going to win the national championship. I'm just think if you're going to beat Alabama, beat them in the first week. Exactly, because we saw field. it. I mean, we saw it last year. I mean, when Ole Miss had plenty of success last year, uh, you know, and they scored a whole lot against Alabama. So if you're going to be a team like Alabama, especially when they're young this year too, yeah, you know, you got to do it in the first couple of games of the season before they start. Rolling and getting that camaraderie together. Georgia Clemson's the first week. That's going to be a great game to watch. Uh, I go with Clemson, and Georgia's coach is going to be in a lot of trouble losing that if he loses that game. It's a big game for Kirby and, and that staff because, I mean, base, if you look on paper, I mean, Georgia, they're a top two or three team on paper. But, you know, we haven't. If JT Daniels, yet. they don't win that game, they're going to be a lot of pressure on, on Kirby. And right. he's got Alabama on the schedule, too. Obviously, the cocktail party with Florida is never good for them. Um, and then you got LSU, UCLA. I mean, that first week of college football is going to be exciting to watch, and it's good to kind of get those games back, those rivalries back, because last year with COVID, we really didn't get to see a lot of those non-conference matchups last year. What's on your mind, Jace, as far as talking yeah. today? Any, uh, thing so, and, and I guess while we're still in the SEC and talking about college football, uh, and now this kind of part of the season where we're actually talking about football because media days is coming up for a lot of teams yeah. and that's starting up. But I saw the other day, they, they I believe USA Today ranked like the top 10 SEC quarterbacks, which I was very you know intrigued with because there's really not a lot of, besides JT and Matt Corral, I mean, there's not really a lot of guys that really proven themselves at the quarterback position. I do the like the Mississippi State kid that was a freshman last year that played true freshman. Will Rogers. Will Rogers. He's not. Not the cowboy. He's not the country. <laughs> yeah, he's not the, the singer and the uh, western guy. But Will Rogers, I think he's from Rankin, Mississippi, where all the – Brandon, where all mm -hmm. the great ones are coming out of. Right. Will Rogers is going to be phenomenal. He caught my eye. As the season went on, he was really good. I mean, I, I think he's going to be great. Tennessee has no quarterback. I mean, I got a Virginia Tech transfer who's okay, and the other guy that came in, he's off the team already. And yeah, they transferred to Liberty. Golly. And then Alabama, I'm not sold on Bryce Young. Yeah. But you don't have to be great. Just hand the ball off. Well, they got talent. Man, is the I offense. Mean, yeah, they, they've won with guys like, you know, solid quarterbacks, nothing, you know, yeah. nothing big. You know? not, not big on Knicks. I think Knicks still gets rattled too easily. Yep. That's he's a guy family. that everybody's – 
familiar with as far as a name, but he yeah. it doesn't seem like he's taken that next step. <laughs> he beat LSU. Leagues. That's painful. <laughs> I mean, a guy that's not even polished beats LSU next. That was his best game of his career. Well, to be fair, I think every quarterback that played against LSU last year yeah, had the best game ever. So yeah. <laughs> Don't judge talent level beating LSU last year. Um, Florida, they have two quarterbacks that are – Dual threats, so everybody thinks they're in a problem jam. I think they got two great young quarterbacks. One's a redshirt freshman, mm -hmm. and the other's a redshirt sophomore. And Emory never, Jones, never yep. bet against Dan Mullen with quarterbacks. Everybody said Kyle Trask, he's going to suck, he ain't going to be any good. Kyle Trask ended up being a Heisman Trophy candidate. But these two guys coming up, he knows what he's doing. Dak Prescott, I mean, when he was at Utah, he had a great quarterback that – you know, Smith. Yeah, Alex Smith, Smith, right, right. Tebow. Yep, Tim I mean, Tebow. I mean, he, you know, Chris Dan, Leak. I mean, yeah. Dan, yeah, Dan Mullen's the quarterback you teacher. So, I don't want to say, oh, Florida's not going to have a quarterback. No, 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 it's Dan Mullen. Yeah, he's picked up a lot from, uh, you know, Urban Meyer and teach him a lot as far as teaching quarterbacks and how to use their skill set to their advantage. I think Dan Mullen could take a cornerback and make him an All-American quarterback. He's in, he's just he's got to be the best teacher quarterbacks. Yeah, he's he's a really good quarterback whisperer, as they say. Man, um, Ole Miss, yeah, I'm not really high on Corral. He gets mm -hmm. rattled, right? I mean, he did have two really uh, bad games last year that yeah. really stick out. Vandy's got a good looking young freshman at play last year from Texas, but he's he, he's all over the place though still. LSU ate him alive. That was LSU's great defensive game. Well, I thought LSU was going to be great on defense after Vandy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't after happen. Vanderbilt, yep. And then Donovan Kaufman, their best player on defense from Rummel, mm -hmm. who beat your Catholic Bears. Yeah, I remember that. He's at Auburn now. It's a weird world. Um, Kaufman's a great safety for – that was – had seven tackles, I think, against LSU last year when LSU played Vandy in Nashville. Auburn's skinning themselves a really good one. That's all yeah. I gotta say. South Carolina, really unknown. Yep. Quarterback. Yep. Right. South Carolina's unknown. Georgia. Texas AM's a quarterback battle right now. Georgia, JT Daniels, I think, is the best quarterback. Yeah, he I agree with you. He's the by far, by far to me, he's the best quarterback in the SEC. But there's I mean, the, the point I was trying to make is there's just a lot of uncertainty, a lot of Kentucky. Guys, I'm really sure. Kentucky needs a quarterback. It seems like if they would have had one the last three years, they would have went to Atlanta. They've had great defenses. Kentucky has. He yep. just uh, – Coach Stoops can't sign a quarterback, I guess. Yeah, I mean, he's had solid guys, but no, no guys that will win you games, you know. No. Um, Arkansas, Felipe Franks is finally out the league. It seems like <laughs> – He's even been there for 10 years. 12 years, yep. you know. He's got a retirement card. He's been there so <laughs> long. But Arkansas, hmm. The kid from Alabama that was that's kind of a dual guy. He yeah. doesn't look like he's got it yet, you know. So yeah, it's it's shaky. Yeah, that's uh, what that's what I'm curious about the most to see what this because look at like last two years with guys that come out like Burrow, Tua, you know, you had you know Kyle Trask. I mean, there was just a lot of guys coming in, and now this year. Not even sure what the quarterback position really looks like in the SEC. Final thoughts. I'm going to take Brennan and Max Johnson both playing against UCLA. Yeah. I'm, I'm guesstimating because I, I kind of feel like Ed owes Miles a chance to keep the job. It wasn't his fault he got hurt. It's not like they were killing it when he was not hurt. I mean, they did lose to Missouri. Yep. But I think – Brennan will start the first series. Who cares? I mean, what's the big deal? And then there'll be plays. I'm guessing this. There'll be plays for Brennan with his arm, and there'll be plays for Max. Max is good underneath right now, good runner. I think somebody's going to have to, like, show the LSU staff after that game, I think they'll decide, or maybe after the second game. That's my thoughts. I've got my money on Max Johnson probably being the guy after the second game. But Miles Brennan's going to be given every opportunity to show where people don't think he can move in the pocket or run when needed. That's what hurts him in this offense. 
Yeah, I feel like Max Johnson's like the ace in the hole. You know, if some if something's going wrong with uh, Miles, they're going to start off with Miles because he's been through the program. Yeah. For, give him a shot, and then something, you know, he's not playing well. Well, we always have. We know what Max can do. And in my opinion, like Max, I mean, that's who I want too. But I believe that they'll start off with Miles and, and see what happens. I'm hoping Miles becomes everything they said he would be just for the kid because he's stuck around. A lot of guys leave. Yeah, especially in today's age. But I don't mind LSU winning with two quarterbacks. They did it in Florida with Chris Leak and Tim Tebow. They did it in Alabama with Hurts and Tua. The Washington Huskies did it with Billy Joe Hobart and Mark Brunell. Yeah, Mark Brunell. Yeah. They won a national championship in 90 with Colorado. They split it, remember? Well, oh, yeah. before your time. Yeah, Colorado and Washington. Yeah, that's when – before the BCS era yeah. when they had the crown champions. So you can win with two quarterbacks, but the staff has to go ahead and be – It's all about managing them. Though. Yeah. That's that's the key deal. Now, you know, with Florida, it was a 2QB deal, both with uh, Meyer and both with Spurrier. Spurrier did a lot of two quarterbacks. How about Ohio though? State with four quarterbacks, Braxton yeah. Miller? That just shows – that was just quarterback – because, remember, it was just one getting hurt and the other one would step right. in. But they all – it was a deep quarterback room, so all of them just and Jones, stepped in. And Jones, Cordell Jones was the fourth quarterback, and he wins a national championship and beats Alabama. The fourth quarterback. Now, you'll never see that again. No. Now, <laughs> that was uh, pretty insane seeing that happen because it started off with Braxton Miller, and then yep. Miller gets hurt. And then JT Parrott pr- pretty much plays the whole season. And, like, against Michigan, he gets hurt. And in the playoff game – I mean, Cardell steps up and does great, too. But my whole point is I think the fans are too concentrated on who takes the first snap. Who cares? Who really cares? Because the next snap, the next offensive series could be Max. Mm -hmm. But they might – I'm just guessing. I don't know this for the listeners. I just – knowing ball and just having a good feel of what I'm seeing or hearing. Got to give Miles the chance. He got hurt. Now, if he doesn't get hurt and he plays the whole season last year and he didn't look good, then, you know, he's not even in the picture with Max. But you got to start Miles, and then Max will be given the opportunity to beat him out if he, if he can't do it. But maybe, just maybe, both quarterbacks can get LSU to the playoffs. I'm just saying, one could throw it 80 yards, the other one can throw it 45, 50 yards, and he'll be an 80-yard guy as he gets older. It was interesting, too, because really we just got small sample sizes with both. Because yeah, Max Ma- was only 18 last year. Yeah, right. Miles had three games and put up some pretty good numbers in those three games. Yeah. But it was only three games. And but then, you know, when – now Max looked really good in two games, but I mean, that's pretty time. much what he got. So. But Max, think of this. Joe Burrow was not ready to start at 18 at Ohio State. Just, just take that in. And Max Johnson goes in against Florida with 35 players on the team and beats Florida in Florida at night in the swamp. And he looked like a left-handed Joe Burrow out there in that Florida but just, game. Just think about it, though. Joe Burrow was not truly ready to. He was 21 years old. So fans go, well, he didn't have this yet or that yet. No, no kidding. He was 18. <laughs> yep. So if you know ball, and coaches are listening to this show, they know ball. Man, he's going to be 19 this year. He's going to be better. Yeah, you're always going to get better. And Brennan's going to be like 22 or 23. And that's one thing that you can't count him out because he's mature now. He knows the system. He's gained weight, actually, finally, yeah. for two or three years. But I, wouldn't it be fun to watch the, if he throws the bombs and then Max can run underneath and run for the third and threes? I think it would work out. Like, Tebow did that for Chris Leak. Chris Leak couldn't run. And then Cordell Jones did that for Braxton even before the injury because Cordell nobody wants to tackle Cordell, but he could move. <laughs> he was he like could, a tank, <laughs> but he could move though. Yep. And Mark Brunell did that for Billy Joe Hobart at the Washington Huskies, and Jalen Hurts did it for Tua. Really, Tua wasn't a runner. Mm-hmm. Yep. You can do it. I think people are too concentrated on one guy. It's been done before. So yep. there was that old saying that you know. If you don't, if you have two quarterbacks, you have none. Well, now in college football, if you have two or three quarterbacks, you have two or three quarterbacks. Actually, I'm gonna tell you this: I'm predicting LSU to go 11 and one. Yep, from five and five to 11 and one. They could go 12 and 0, and you know how you beat Saban? You have two quarterbacks. 
Because if he stops one package, he, he's worried about a second package. Or just have good quarterback play overall. You got to yeah. man, Johnny Manziel, Joe Burrow. I mean, those are all guys well, that beat Alabama. Saban cannot stop a running quarterback. And if Max could come in and get third and threes on Alabama in Alabama this year, then LSU's going to be difficult because Brennan can throw the long ball. LSU's got the receivers. They're going to be stacked at wide out. Without a doubt, they, they are stacked at wide receiver. So, But we're going to take a break. Jace, thanks for joining yeah, us. Not a problem. Glad to be on. When we come back, we're going to have Kendrick Law, one of the top recruits in the country. I was at Captain Shreve High School in Shreveport. I enjoyed being there. But also with his, his coach, Mitchell, and also Braylon Finney, a big-time receiver DB senior, two 222 kids. You're going to enjoy the interview. We'll be right back. If you need a paint job or repairs to your vehicle, go see Medine's Collision Center located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on Kincaid Avenue. The number to call is 357-7983. That's 357-7983. Your Baton Rouge Accident Advisors. Welcome back. You're listening to the Sports Scouting Report. I hope you enjoyed that interview with me and Jace. That you just didn't think it was smoke. <laughs> Or air. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, we're back. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our interview with Kendrick Law from Captain Shreve High School. I really enjoyed my time at Captain Shreve. I was there doing the interview. Braylon Finney, Coach Mitchell, take a, take a check this out. Great interview. All right, I'm at Captain Shreve High School in Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, got on the road at about 4.15 this morning. Dodged a couple of deer, I think, a couple of squirrels. Uh, did see a deer on the side of the road, man. That makes I'm, a, I'm an animal person. I hate seeing that. Mm -hmm. Coach, introduce yourself. Appreciate you being here. Um, Coach Mitchell, right? Yeah, Coach Mitchell. Um, quarterbacks, tight ends, a little bit of receivers here and there, just depending. Um, this is my second year, going to be my second year at Shreve. I, I worked at Northwestern State as a graduate assistant. Worked at Louisiana Tech as a student assistant. So excited cool. to be here, Coach Laird. Uh, yeah, Coach Laird. Love Coach Laird. Yeah, I awesome guy. Was friends with Pivato when he was the head coach there too. And mm -hmm. we're in the. It looks like we're in the big principal boardroom here, huh? The big Just, fancy, the big fancy stuff. I, I heard there was no air conditioning in the rest of the school. Is that right, guys? Oh yeah. Yeah. So today we've got uh, Kendrick Law. Thanks for being here, Kendrick. Kendrick drove to the school to be here to be interviewed. Braylon, Finney, right? Is it? Uh, receiver DB. Kendrick's like the five tool guy, five positions, maybe seven. If there's eight, maybe you play eight. Um, your dad, I met your dad, Kendrick, years ago at Booker T. Washington when he was coaching. And then seeing you today, like, man, because he was talking about, I got a little kid who's like four. That's how long it's been. He's like, one day, my boy's going to be a recruit. And here you are, man. I mean, you Getting all these calls, they're blowing your phone up. They're texting you probably till ten thirty at night, right? Yeah. What's it like right now? I mean, you've been dealing with this. I mean, is it old? Or are you ready for it to be over? Are you still enjoying it? Uh, you know, the recruiting process is fun. You know, it's fun for me and my dad. You know, to go on trips and we did trips this summer and um, unofficial visits and things. And you know, to look what the colleges can offer. And, uh, you know, what the school can offer for me, you know, expect, especially that I want to be, you know, an engineer, you know, looking at their engineer program. And, you know, if I struggle in school, the help I can get, the help I need, you know, ain't no certain amount of time at certain schools, you know, I can spend in the tutor, you know, I can get additional tutors and things like that. And, you know, the football program, you know, to walk around and see, you know, the campus, where I'll be staying, who the players I'll be staying with, you know, where I'm be staying. And, you know, just, you know, interacting with the coaches and things like that. So it's it's most definitely a, a good experience. You want to be a chemical engineer? Uh, I'm right now balancing between a, a civil and uh, some chemical. Chem chem oh. No, I think it was something else. Well, I forgot. You're trying to figure it out. Yeah, I'm trying to figure one. it out. But, I mean, petrochemical plants is big in Louisiana. Obviously, it's all over the country. But um, I already know LSU's offered you. I know Alabama's offered you. I know Florida right. State, Louisiana right. Tech, obviously, the home school here in North Louisiana. Right. Um, you probably don't have a timetable. Y'all just going with the flow right now, right? I mean, it's 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 still early to me. 
in recruiting. We ain't even played a football season yet. You still yeah. got a year left. And you just finished track. Right. Now, I didn't get to see it, Kendrick. And I, I, play, I ran track in high school. I ran an 11 flat. But you would smoke me. I was in 5A ball at Central High School back in the day. And we were in the end toward LSU. We held some records in the relays, but you're ten point four. Tell everybody the time that you ran. Uh in state I ran ten four eight, ten point four eight. How in the heck did you do that? At one ninety, right? At one ninety five. I mean, that's heavyweight for track. I know <laughs> track. That's not one sixty. Right. That's impressive, man. I think I was probably the, the heaviest kid on the, you know, on that little starting eight. Did you ever practice it at one ninety five and time it? And say, all right, I've ran a ten four. Well, see, North Louisiana has you know great kids, but you know we have uh, a handful of kids that just you know always running you know ten something. So with by we being in district. It's not too many kids that's going to, you know, push the best. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. when you go down to Mid-South and and Full South, you know, you get faster kids that's, you know, they're racing each other all year. And, like Aaron, know, Anderson, Aaron Anderson. Yeah. It's pretty fast. So, yeah, from a car. Yeah, he's pretty fast. Yeah, he, um, kids that have been running, you know, all against each other year round. And, you know, they've already ran, you know, 10 fives and 10 sixes and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, my fastest time coming in was – was a 10-7, but in regionals, I ran 10-9, but I, I won the regionals race, but it just wasn't nobody pushing me. But in the state, I know I had to come with my A game and, you know, be extra loose and ready for the race. Yes. We're going to take a break. you listen to the Sports Scouting Report. We'll be right back. Be sure to take your car and truck for all your tire needs to Treads and Care Tire Company located in Central. The number to call is 331-8144. Family owned and operated since 1971. That's Treads and Care Tire Company. Welcome back. You're listening to Sports Scouting Report. We're going to continue with our interview with Braylon Finney, Captain Shreve, Kendrick Law, one of the top recruits in the country from Captain Shreve, and also Coach Mitchell. Check this out. That's remarkable, man. When I ran an 11 flat, I was celebrating. I was fifth in state. Yeah. But the guy that won it ran a 10 3 9, and I got smoked. <laughs> But there wasn't one guy, only one guy that beat you, and it was not even by a second, not even by a half a second. He ran 10.47. Wow. One, yeah, so y'all were close at the finish line. He jumped. He jumped in a field going across the line. Wow. Maybe get another shot at him somehow one day. Hey, he's a senior. He's gone. He's gone? He's gone. Maybe running privately. Yeah. <laughs> so meet me at this track. Let's get the film crew or something. No, um... So do you want to run track in college? Uh, right now I'm looking forward to trying to, you know, do track. Uh, but by me, you know, coming coming in in January, you know, that's really the – they've – track has probably already been, you know, working yeah. the whole year. So I may not be able to run that year. I may – depends on what kind of shape I am in and uh, the events that I can run, you know, that's going to put me and the team in the best position. But, you know – I'm I'm going to try to run, and I'm going to try to, you know, jump if possible. Yeah. But, you know, I, I come really to play football. I don't have a track scholarship, but I know I can for sure earn one. Yeah. And what impresses me, you know, I've been watching Captain Shreve 30 years. Roland Harper was before my time. He was with the Bears. You probably remember or heard of Roland Harper. We see we see his uh his jersey hanging up in the he's, locker room. He's like the best thing ever for, you know, if you go college NFL from Shreve. And then Bo Harris had played at LSU in the Bengals. He was a nine-year starter linebacker. There's been some other guys come out of here in baseball, obviously track, football. But you definitely have a chance to be one of the one of the all-time players in the end. And um, I, I'm impressed with you on film because when you return punts and kicks, you're, you're full throttle. I mean, and people don't realize when you're playing DB all game or receiver all game, you going back out there for that third, first spot, and you look fresh still. I mean, you still make everybody look slow. Uh, you know how to run, and that's that's what impresses me about you. And you're a football player that does track. You're not a track guy playing football to me. Right. You know, I've seen some guys that are more track, and they're trying to learn football. Yeah. But you happen to be fast and track, but a football player. 
Um, your buddy here, Finney, is going to be a senior. I wanted to ask you, Braylon, thanks for joining us too, man, today. Going to be a senior this year. You're going to be more involved in the offense. Tell everybody how big you are right now, height and weight. Um, height and weight, height, um, I'm, a, I'm six, six one, and then weight, um, Patterson between 170 and 175, sometimes I eat. And then, trying to gain that weight, huh? Yes, sir. What, what do you think of your, your buddy over here? Uh, have you learned anything from him? Yes, sir, I learned a lot from him. He, he, he big, he big, he, 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 every day I learn something from him. <laughs> what you think of Fanny, uh, Kendrick? I mean, he's a sleeper this year. He's a teammate. You're getting all. You're getting a lot of attention. Here's a guy that might, you know, jump pretty fast come September, October. Right. Just not, you know, just not looking on Braylon. But you know, we we have a lot of kids that's been sleep sleeping on, and uh, you know, that could be big. You know, not just talking about stars, but you know, just big in the ranking period. You know, just by you know by him not being able to get a you know. The season being short last year just because yeah. of COVID and things like that. You know, everybody's stats wasn't the same or, you know, better. But, you know, he's one of the kids that, you know, we all had a short season. But, you know, wasn't too much passing going on last year. But, yeah. you know, he's a great kid. And, you know, he's a leader on the team. You know, kids look up to him. You know, Braylon not sitting down. If I'm not sitting down, you know, kids look, you know, to get up off the bench and stuff like that. You know, we, we tell them, you know, do stuff. Braylon tell them to do stuff. And, you know, they listen. You know, they see where we at and they see where they are and they want to get where we at. So, you know, they listen to kids like us. Persian's good, too, at the end. Persian Miro? Yeah, Miro's good. His dad, I think, was in the magazine years ago. Right. But y'all got five big-time defensive seniors that we're going to cover. It's about ten kids in the senior class that could sign somewhere when it's over. Correct. I like this group. I like the Shreve team. The coaches over here are like, don't put too love, much credit. Love the Shreve team. I love, love the team. Love I really do. I, I think y'all got a good experience. Uh, sometimes being slept on is a good thing. Y'all work harder, maybe chip on your shoulder. Coaches like that. You know, they like when people don't rank you high because you play with more passion, more energy. Right. Um, Kendrick, what have you learned in recruiting going to Alabama and LSU? What Have you learned anything that you said – Man, I didn't know it'd be like this before you started actually visiting schools. Did you have you learned anything? Yes, I've learned a lot. You know, going into my freshman year, you know, with no offers, you know, I wasn't getting any calls, I wasn't getting any takes. But you know, colleges were, you know, seeming to sound like they were looking my way. But you know, they weren't the big colleges that I'm getting now. They're most of the small colleges that were coming through here and, you know, recruiting our kids and, you know, things like that. But when I went and played for the, the bootleggers my sophomore year and uh, I got my first offer from Virginia, you know, things started to pop and, you know, looking into the recruiting process is, you know, it's, it's fun, you know. It's not how I thought because, you know, when you go to different schools and things, you know, I thought it was just, you know, you just look at football stuff because, you know, that's what kind of offer you have. But, mm-hmm. nah, if you want to see baseball, they will show you baseball. They'll tell yeah. you you can play what you want to play, things like that. And, you know, most of the coaches try to be real with you and, you know, tell you where you're going to be, how you're going to play, you know, and you can see things how they see it. We're going to take a break. you listen to the Sports Scouting Report. We'll be right back. So, hey, guys, just wanted to take a minute to tell you about Harvey Autos. If you need a new or used car, There's three great dealerships right here worth checking out. John Harvey Toyota, Harvey Subaru, and Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City. Low prices, honest people. Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back. You're listening to Sports Scouting Report. We're going to continue with our interview with Braylon Finney, Captain Shreve, Kendrick Law, one of the top recruits in the country from Captain Shreve, and also Coach Mitchell. Check this out. Is distance a factor for you? Does it matter? I know some kids are close to their mom and dad and go, I don't want to be more than three hours from home cooking. No, Does that matter to you at all? This doesn't matter. We, uh, Me and my mom, my dad, and my you know, my family, we all decided, you know, whatever it is, you know, where whatever school fits me best, you know, all around, you know, they're going to make sure I get there and back home safely, you know, whenever I want to. So this is not a factor. You want to take some game visits before you decide? Usually a lot of kids like to do that. Right, I'm a, I'm trying to take five right now. I only wow, have that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, right now I only have uh, Florida State set up, but I'm pretty sure I'm finna set up some more. Who are they gonna play that game? Who are you gonna go see? First first game of the season is gonna be Notre Dame. Oh, oh, 
They might be Notre Dame. Notre Dame's got a new quarterback. Correct. They, uh, they're they playing on Sunday. New court, the old quarterbacks with the Saints. Right. Um, Alabama, who are they going to play? Do you have that set on who they are? Oh, I do not have Alabama set up yet. LSU, Alabama, maybe? Or maybe. But I, have, <laughs> I don't have it set up yet. Well, yeah, you'd have to go to – so it's in Alabama. And right. in LSU, you have to pick an LSU game. Home games. Home games. Yep. Florida. Florida. Let's go. Yep. Florida's going to be angry at LSU. That shoe toss, did you see that? In, at the end of last the Florida year? LSU game? Yeah, did no, you see, see that, that last year? Coach, did you see that? No, I didn't see it. The tight end, the game was almost over, and Florida was winning by Oh, he threw points. it down the field, got a penalty? Yeah. Oh, I did. I'm, I saw remember it? Now. Yeah. I remember now, yeah. The DB threw the tight end shoe, and they penalized right, him. Yeah. I ain't yeah. never seen delayed, somebody delayed get penalized for throwing a shoe. Yeah. And LSU kicks a 58-yard field goal in the fog that was worse than something you see in Hollywood. It was in Florida. It's just upset, man. They are, like, Brilliant. ruining their year. <laughs> I mean, uh, Kyle, Kyle Trask's Heisman Trophy went down the drain. Yeah. I mean, Florida looked like they didn't look good in a bowl game. Uh, but a lot of people didn't look good in bowl games. North Carolina didn't look good in a bowl game. Uh, There's a lot of kids opting out now, opting out of the bowl game to protect their – you know, the team leaders and stuff opting out. So I, I like them playing. I like guys staying I, together. I like though. playing it, too. It's, what do you, it's what do you think of that, Kendrick? What do you playing think? Playing in ball games? Yeah, like when you work hard all summer with your teammates, your brothers, and then just not play, you know? I mean, well, you unless know, you're a top five pick, maybe. I mean, but. I believe, you know, the, the school should, you know, still have a bowl game because, you know, like you said, these kids been, you know, working since, you know, since the summer and uh you know even though you know the team as one has not done great you know i believe they should you know still get another game to you know try to prove themselves because it's not just about the bowl game but you know those kids are still working for a ring and a trophy so yeah i believe they should still play i think more coach i think less opt-outs when it goes to 12 teams oh we'll see we'll see we'll see because then it's all playoff games right we just we just <laughs> I think a coach the other day from Shreveport was telling me this, that the media has kind of made people feel like if you're not in the playoffs while playing it, that's kind of like the bad, that's a bad deal, you know. It's like what if yeah. you come to Independence Bowl and you're playing for LSU and you're from Shreveport? Right. The fans are going to be like, man, we want to see our, our home guy play, you right. know, and try and win a game. But anyway, I'm old school. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, your dad being a coach, Kendrick, because that, that's helped you a lot. Coach's son. Right, you know, me and my dad, you know, he's actually the running backs and special teams coach, but, you know, by him being my dad, he still coaches me no matter what spot I go on the field. <laughs> but, you know, we have our ups and downs and, you know, disagrees and agrees, but, you know, he's still my dad at the end of the day. So Y'all can y'all can get over arguments because he means well. Right. And Co- Coach Law has so much experience. He's been head coach, coordinator. Yeah. He's been everywhere. So he's he's really fantastic to work with. That's good, though. My dad was a coach. We had a we had an interesting relationship too, and uh, he'd take me off side and be like, "Man, that's not the way I taught you to throw the football." <laughs> like I know, I know, you know, <laughs> but you could blow it off at the end of the day because he loves you. you know? Right, Braylon. Um, what do you need to work on as a receiver? Um, as so a you receiver. can catch forty balls this year, hopefully, right? <laughs> this is a, um, as a receiver, uh, I need to work on my speed and being more aggressive, for sure. Um, who do you like? Did did you grow up a Louisiana guy, or do you have outside schools that you, that you like? Uh, I'm a I'm a Louisiana guy. So, Tech, ULM, is it Northwestern? Would, is it who would you like out of those three if it happened? Yeah, any other? Any of them? Is it somebody yeah. break the offer? Just somebody come across and, yes, and get it going? <laughs> who was your first offer, Kendrick? Virginia, Virginia Cavaliers. That's a great academic school. Now, what's their engineering program like? I, I didn't study that. Virginia's? Virginia's I did not good. visit Virginia, but I did look it up. But, you know, off I don't want to go off of what the internet says. Yeah, yeah. But it, it looks to be pretty good. But, you know, I've also looked up, you know, the six colleges I went to engineering program. But, you know, wasn't nothing like the experience and, the, you know, the stuff that people can tell me off the top of their head and the stuff that they experience. So we're going to take a break. You'll listen to the Sports Scouting Report. We'll be right back. If you need a paint job or repairs to your vehicle, you've got to go to Medine's Collision Center located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on Kincaid Avenue. The number to call is 
seven nine eight three. That's three five seven seven nine eight three. Family owned since the nineteen sixties. Welcome back. You listen to Sports Scouting Report. We're going to continue with our interview with Braylon Finney, Captain Shreve, Kendrick Law, one of the top recruits in the country from Captain Shreve, and also Coach Mitchell. Check this out. You like math, then? I'm pretty good at math. I was bad at math in high school. Same, same here. I could not do math. Kendrick, I could not get algebra and geometry. Like, I didn't like it, though. But you obviously have to be good in that. Pretty to be one to be an engineer, right? So what do you what do you have in geometry and, and uh, algebra? You carry A's in those courses? I've actually carried A's Whoa. through all four of my wow. years. I took geometry and advanced math last year, you know, to finish out my senior year. So and I finished with both of those classes with A. Wow! And he was he was virtual. He was dealing with the virtual stuff last year. See, that's what would make me want to recruit you, not just your talent, but man. Student, it's rare. It's rare. You know what I mean? Like this guy's gonna want to go to class and 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 be in class. And, and stuff. he's he's graduating early and, and everything. He's he's been he's been crushing it. Early too. Yeah, you mentioned that earlier. Yeah. Um, graduating in uh, January, I believe. Our school season goes over to like January nineteenth, I believe. Yeah. I saw the Scotlandville High School game last year. First I saw game the whole, season, whole game. And I hate just watching that first game because you know later game. Y'all had two quarterbacks, obviously. Right. You know, y'all had another kid come on late because mm-hmm. of an injury. Um, but y'all held your own against one of the best teams in Baton Rouge. Scotland was a big right. team. As you know, they had two great DNs last year. Y'all did right. pretty good with they those were, guys. They had athletes all over the Big field. time. Their running all back over. was a big time player. Right. He's coming back. Um, two of them are coming back that are mm-hmm. D1. So, But I thought just watching that game last year, and you were still kind of waiting your turn last year. but. Yes, sir. Braylon, but uh, I was like, you know, Captain Shreve can really go a long ways. And then you look at everybody that's coming back again. Man, y'all could really – this could be that year, you know. Uh, and I'm pu- I'm pushing for the- these guys here to do great. I mean, you just need that second playoff win to get to that, that championship game, right? And it's tough in 5A on the public side. Very, very tough. I mean, you got a Katie Ann. You got Zachary. You got, you know, all these tough teams in the state that are just powerhouses in 5A. Mm-hmm. And then I don't think anybody has won more games in the last five years in North Louisiana than Captain Shreve, just based off the last five years. You know, y'all have had some great seasons. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm really happy in what Coach has done. And Coach Mitchell, appreciate you Thanks coming up to the school, Let me come here and – I didn't even get a uh, cup of coffee yet, <laughs> but I'm just glad to be here, man. And uh, oh, yeah. Kendrick, anything to tell people that are listening because they're going to hear this all over Louisiana, and actually it's in 38 states. So uh, I just wanted them to get to know you more than just saying where are you going, right? That's the only thing people wants to ask you right now. Correct. I didn't want to do that to you, uh, but it sounds like you're still not ready to to make that decision, and I don't blame you. Enjoy your recruiting because as soon as you commit, you don't get those official visits. Right. You know, just in, in Braylon, I mean, I'm hoping that you get a bunch too, which I think you will. Um, uh, Braylon, any final thoughts? Anything you want to tell people that are listening about you? Um, then not, not really, not special, but um, don't, don't sleep on me for too much longer. All right. I want to I want to say something about Brad. He's a guy who's going to show Mitchell. up. He's going to show up every day. He plays both sides of the ball, plays special teams, and he is one of the most excited guys on our team to be out there every every single day that we go out there. And he he will definitely have at least some offers by the end of the season. Like like he said, don't sleep on him. He's he's going to catch a lot of balls, make a lot of plays. All right, the fans want to know this. Favorite hobbies, Kendrick? Fish or hunt? Would be number 1. Honey. More relaxing. I'm a fisherman. Favorite hobbies? Oh, uh, I'm gonna say music. This is music. I like music a lot. And um, playing sports. Uh, if you had more time to do something, and you like, I don't have time, but I wish I had more time. What would that be, Kendrick? Like now.
now or past? Uh, currently, like, you know, currently, since you're so yeah. busy as a student athlete, but if you could just whether travel or see something or what would it be if you had the time to do it? It probably would be to visit, you know, a couple more colleges, but, you know, with, you know, by us having a, you know, short season last summer, you know, I took the first two weeks off of uh, summer this year, so I make sure that I was here for the rest of the summer, but, you know, it's definitely to travel and see more colleges. Dream place to fish. You have a place you want to go? Dream place to fish. I believe, uh, you know, they say fishing in Florida is pretty fun, so I want to go fishing in Florida one day. Lake Okeechobee. You got to go there. The bass are 12 to 15 pounds. Oh, yeah. You can get into a stream of them. And I, I, my uncle and, and my cousin 10 years ago, they caught 14 over 5 pounds in an hour. That's a release. You can't keep them all. I just like the idea of yeah. catching them. You know. Braylon, what, what would be where you would like to go somewhere? Like, Is there a state that you'd like to travel to? Is there? Um, I, I've never been anywhere, far, anywhere farther than uh, Bama, Alabama. So you haven't been out of the South. No sir. Up north, if there's if there's a place you'd like to go to, or West Coast. Mm, I'd say California or somewhere like. I I really like to go to um, Michigan. Michigan. Yes sir. When it's snowing or not snowing. So I like the snow. Cold weather? Does it bother you, Ken? Uh, my game? No, but <laughs> you know I have I have to hunt in the cold, so I'm pretty okay. There you go. Yeah, for deer and stuff. Mm -hmm. Drew Dillio, a friend of mine, played at Michigan from Parkview Baptist. Was mm -hmm. a punt returner, kick returner. Five foot eight, one seventy, ran a four four. I think he was about a ten eight hundred. Yeah. He told me his experience in Michigan. He loves Ann Arbor, and people go, "Oh, this Baton Rouge guy would never like it." No, he actually fell in love with the place. Yeah. Still goes back. Their biggest alumni guy owns Domino's. And it's like he's got his personal number. Mm. And this guy loves Michigan, so he's just, like, loves Drew. Um, but, yeah, I've, I lived in Pennsylvania. I lived in New York. Uh, I'm not big on the cold. <laughs> but there's nothing like football in, in the South. You know, I was, I've been in the West Coast, 7-on-7. Seven seven. It's not the same. Even though they have more kids and they're bigger, we've got the best athletes, I think. Agreed. Florida, Texas, and Louisiana are just – and then maybe Alabama and Mississippi has got some rare ones. I'm a big Jerry Rice fan. Yeah. I think he's one of the greatest ever. Final question. Favorite college or pro player that you always have to watch when they, when he's playing? Uh, right now I don't have a favorite college. But pros, I don't have a favorite pro team. But, you know, I look up to kids, you know, like DK Metcalf and uh, Tyreek Hill. Okay. What about you, bro? Devontae Smith. Oh, from Amy. Yes, sir. I watched uh, him his junior year against McDonough 35. Went to a game. He weighed 160 pounds then. He weighs probably 165 now. Yes, sir. But he was the toughest 160 I've ever seen in 30 years. Mm -hmm. I've seen 210-pound linebackers bounce off of him. Hey, you just don't see that from a guy 160. Yes, sir. Won the Heisman Trophy. And uh, very, very like you, very quiet. Yes, sir. You know, not, oh, you yeah. know, but very good kid. Well, I appreciate everybody coming today. Yes, sir. Uh, good luck to you, Kendrick, Braylon, Coach Mitchell. Appreciate it. I'm owe you a hamburger one day for showing <laughs> up. If it's legal, I can get you all something, but, you know, you got to follow those NCAA rules, man. Oh, yeah. uh, that's why I brought magazines to the school. I can do that, but mm -hmm. – uh, Maybe next time I can get some T-shirts of our magazine and stuff when we come up. But any any anything else to say while we're doing this? Thanks for having us. Uh, anything about Coach Coach Mitchell? Any Just excited excited for my second season? I think we're gonna have a really great team this year. We're getting ready to go. Got to get that air conditioner fixed in yeah, the school right now. It's huh? getting replaced. It's yeah. not It's yeah. not like we're letting it go. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a long process. Big school, long process. Well, um, appreciate it again, and uh, good luck to you all this year. Oh, yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed the show today with me and Jace Lejeune and also everybody at Captain Shreve, Kendrick Law. What a fine young man. Brayling Kenny, um, also Coach Mitchell, who did a great job. Thanks for uh, having us or, or, or welcoming me to Captain Shreve High School doing the interview this week. Really enjoyed doing it. I think Captain Shreve, the Gators, 
are going to have a great year. I really do. They, they've been winning the last five years. There was a long drought where they didn't have a lot of wins, but they have really done a good job uh, with their coaching staff. Has done a great job. And um, go to the website again, LAFootballMagazine.com, to, to pre-order your preview magazine for South and North and digital. That's LAFootballMagazine.com. We'll have all those Captain Shreve kids in it that are starters. And also next week on Wednesday, we'll have our interview with Jess Curtis. We'll have a show on Monday as well. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks for listening to the Sports Scouting Report podcast with Lee Brickeen.